What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Thank you so very much. Y'all feeling all right this evening? You know, we had a couple of days of rain. Um, and that's always a beautiful thing. You know, because it comes in washes away things. And, and it's a great day to lay in and snuggle up. But oh boy, when that sunshine comes back. We're all so grateful for it, right? Am I right about it? Well, um, we give thanks for yet another beautiful day. And I know for me, I hope for you, it has been a lovely, lovely day. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, Then something when I want it love Bears heavy on my mind Then I look at you And the world is all right with me Well, just one look and I know it's gonna be yeah, a lovely day, a lovely day, oh a lovely day. I'm a love, 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 a lovely day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's William Green on piano. Tommy Brown should be on the radio.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's Tommy Saunter. From the day that lies ahead of me Seems impossible to fail Someone that's in front of me Always seems to know the way Well, every man I look at you Oh, and the world is all right with me, yeah. baby. Just one look at you, and I know it's gonna be, gonna be a lovely day. Oh, lovely day. Oh, love, yeah, I'm so full, baby, and I'll be better, oh, love, I love, I love, oh, love, yeah, oh, love, yeah, y'all know this song, help me out with it. Just a little uh, a, a jazz standard that I love to do a lot, and uh, we'd like to do it for you now. Is that okay with you? Anybody feeling kind of mellow today? I mean, even though it's a beautiful day, we got the lights dim. Can we dim these lights just a little bit? I don't know who's on the lights. Can we dim them just a little bit? Uh, just a hair, and then we're gonna get real mellow in here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. 
Don't turn that feel good to you, ladies and gentlemen. That's Mr. William Green on piano. Come on, stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Tommy Salter on bass, y'all. Put your hands together. In a mellow tone, that's the way to live. If you move and grow, something's gotta give. Anybody else coming up 285 here? Uh, and then 285 to 400? Wow, I was not expecting it. But we are here now, and we are happy to be here. And we made it on time, thank God. You know? So, um, so anyway, without any further ado, we want to do something done by Mr. Michael Jackson. And uh, we want to do it for you in a way that you've never heard it before. Maybe you have, but you haven't heard it this way. And um, will you guys sing along when you know the parts? Please? Oh, now, y'all, come on now. There's too many of y'all to, to be that few people answering. Will you sing along when you know the parts? Yes! All right, all right. Let's get into it. Thank you. 
close your eyes, let the rhythm get into you. Don't try to hide it, there ain't nothing that you can do. You know the song. Relax your mind, yeah. We got to move it out. And when you feel that heat, and we can ride the boogie, share that beat of love. I want to rock with you. You know the bar, come on. Oh yeah, dance you in today. I wanna rock with you, yeah, all night. Dance you in today. Out on the floor, there ain't nobody there.
y'all enjoy that one? All right, cool ladies. Thank you so very much. Um, yeah, so at this time, I think it's time for that ballad, right? Oh, okay. Can I do some original, uh, an, an original song with you guys tonight? I really want to share this with you all. So I have two bodies of work. <clears throat> I have two bodies of work. My, fr my freshman jazz record uh, is entitled The New Standard. My name is Tony Hightower, and it's entitled The New Standard. And my second record uh, was entitled Legacy in Honor of My Mother. Has anyone been in the Atlanta area for at least 20 years or is from Atlanta? Anybody from Atlanta? Okay, anybody? Been in the Atlanta area 15 plus years? Okay, so you may have heard of my mother. My mother, um, I'm so thankful that she kept me around this music. I'll be talking about her later, telling you stories of, about how I made my journey to singing jazz uh, because I started in R&B and hip hop. I think Tamara may have said some of those things. But, um, but now I have found myself doing jazz and it's because I listened to, I was being um, inundated with so many different genres of music. But, um, my mom had a, an, um, a residency at the Ritz-Carlton in Buckhead. My mother's name was Theresa Hightower. She was a jazz giant in the city. Thank you. And um, so I, I, I lost myself. I wanted to tell you that about, um, why was I saying that? Oh, yes, thank you. And that, yes, thank you very much. It was the album. And so um, that, that, that record was dedicated to my mother, and that's why it's entitled Legacy. But I'll get to that later. But right now, we want to do this song from Legacy. That's why I was there. I just have to, you know, every now and then you need a, somebody to hit you in the back. Like, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this song is entitled The Doll. So what I need you to do, can I get the first chorus here first? All right, so I'm gonna need your help on this. You all have already promised me that you would sing when you know the parts of the songs. You don't know this song yet, but you're about to, okay? So, when I hold up a one, I need you all to say, the doll, and that's doll like a Barbie doll, okay? So, when I hold up a one, you're gonna say, one, two, three. The doll. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three. The doll. Okay, now when I hold up a two, you're gonna say one, two, three. The doll. Okay, you got it? One, two, three. The doll. Let's try one again. Here we go. One, two, three. And that's all you gotta do. Okay, you guys gonna help me? Yeah. Make some noise already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Uh, let's start. Such beauty, such sad warfare. 
Her skin was a golden ebony with a rose tucked in her hair. See, instantly there were fireworks. I knew it right from the stars. There's nothing that you can do or say once her kiss has touched the heart. She's a lovely lady, the pinnacle of class. Lives in all your daydreams, catch her if you can. Don't let her go, she won't be free for long. I loved her and I lost her, the meaning of this song. And oh so sweet But hot as a day in June Attention is drawn from everything When she walks into the room Oh, she's an angel sent Directly from God above And once you're embraced by her angel wings She'll be all you're thinking of The pinnacle of Christ Lives in all your daydreams Catch her if you can uh, Don't let her go She won't be free for long uh, I love her and I lost her The meaning of this song Y'all sound amazing, thank you so much Lovely Day was his arrangement. If you haven't heard it, 
Go check it out right now. Mr. Freddie Cole's arrangement of Lovely Day is one of the coolest things you'll ever hear. And, um, and this song that I'm gonna sing for you now, the first person I ever heard sing it was him. And he had this way of just telling a story um, with, with a song. Hey, I, can, I, can I tell you, can I, can I talk to you a little bit and tell you, give you some background and everything, is that okay? Yeah. <clears throat> so, as I told you, he was my mentor. When I, when I started over here, I was coming from R&B and hip hop. And um, like, like I did, uh, you've heard me on some of Outkast records, uh, some of Goody Mom's records. Um, my, I was in an R&B group and sang on a lot of different things, right? So I'm coming from that lane, but I always loved this genre of music. Um, but, you know, to come over in this genre of music, you have to be serious. These musicians do not play. You cannot just say I do jazz and be really welcomed like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, so I was talking to Mr. Cole about how I, uh, how I could do it and do it effectively and be good at it. He gave me some obscure songs to listen to and, um, and also told me, um, he encouraged me to write, right? So that's part of it. And I like to scat, so you heard it. I like Al Jarreau, I like Betty Carter and Sarah Vaughn and, and um, uh, what's the queen, Ella Fitzgerald. You know, I love that, right? But Mr. Cole, he didn't really care for that, the scatting and stuff. He just liked a good crooning song. And that was his era, so I appreciate it. Um, and he had a way of doing just that, telling a story. I, uh, I came one night with my mother here to see Mr. Cole here at the Velvet Note. And um, it was a master class of how you take an audience and put them in the palm of your hand by just, you know, basically talking. He sang a lot like this, you know, and it would be, you could hear a pin drop on the floor. Now, I do all this stuff all over the place, but I'm going to do my best job to do it like that tonight. And I hope you guys enjoy it. This is a very beautiful song. It's a sad song, but beautiful nonetheless. It's entitled, Easy to Remember but so hard to forget. Through the night, 
I still remember each little moment and though it brings me William Green, ladies and gentlemen. So I must dream to have your hand caress me, your fingers press me tight. I'd rather dream. first time doing it. I just loved it. And I enjoy it. Did y'all enjoy it? Yeah. It's a beautiful song, right? They don't write songs like this anymore. Well, yes, they do. Um, you just don't hear them many, many times. But um, yeah, those are beautiful lyrics, right? Heart-wrenching lyrics. And, um, and um, beautiful melody as well. Um, All right, can we pick it up a little bit? Okay, can I get those chords? We're gonna see, we're gonna see. I'm gonna test you. And are you guys feeling all right in here? If you're feeling good, somebody say yeah. If you're feeling good, somebody say yeah. 
If you're feeling good, somebody say yeah. I love this song right here. One, two, three, four. Uh, in the world and I'm moaning. I'm alone and crying in the blues. I'm so tired of praying my dues. Every morning I'm moaning. Uh, every evening I'm moaning. Cause of all the trouble I see. Life's a losing gamble to me. Every evening I'm moaning Well, Lord, I spend 20 days and nights Along with my dreams And Lord, I pray, really and truly pray I'll find some relief yeah, Every morning I'm moaning I'm alone and crying the blues I'm so tired of part my dues Every morning I'm loaded
another original song to you all? Yes. Thank you so much. I was hoping you'd say yes. Oh, before I do it, um, I also have CDs available. If, if anyone is interested afterwards, please let me know. I do have some CDs available. We were rushing so to get here. I, did, I have not brought them in, but they are on the premises. Okay, so. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, they are available this evening. I want to do a song for you entitled Plain Jane. Um, it's a story. This song is many, many moons old. I wrote it um, uh, a long time ago, maybe 15 plus years ago. <clears throat> and it's a story. Um, we all, in this thing called life, you know, the new phrase is life will life on you. And it will definitely do that. Um, life can serve you some things that are certainly unexpected. And um, this is a story uh, that is very near and dear to me. Um, it seems that people can relate to it. It may not be my story, but we all have a story. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's entitled Plain Jane.
Walking down the thinking of the days to come. All in all, we've had a hell of a In my life, in my life, I carry this burden. My life, plain Jane, plain. Thank you guys for listening. Did y'all enjoy it? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we have been having a wonderful time with you all. Oh, I think that's about our time. But before we go, are y'all still feeling good? Yeah. Y'all still feeling good? Yeah. All right, can we do that one for you now? Listen, I have done all the way through the show with no lyrics. Okay, don't judge me. And technically, uh, being a jazz singer, it's appropriate because I can read from the bandstand. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but uh, I'm going to read these lyrics. I love this song. I have not committed it to a memory yet, but I love the tune. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to get into it now. And it's simply feeling good. Uh huh. <laughs> Feel. River running 
know how to feel It's a new dawn A new day A new life For me I don't feel good
always seems to know the way Every time I look at you And the world is alright with me yeah. There's just one look at you And I know it's gonna be Gentlemen, that's Tommy Stalls on the Well, when the day that lies ahead of me seems impossible to face, someone that's ahead of me always seems to know the way. Yeah. And the world is all right with me. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. Oh, just one look at you. Yeah. And I know it's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be. Oh, baby, just one look at you. Oh, God, I'm here. God, 
First of all, to have all of you. Thank you guys for coming here this evening. You guys look amazing. All right, but I have some, uh, not but, and I have some friends that have just popped up on me and blessed me this evening, you know? First, my friend Jen Ferris is over here. Uh, just, she texted me and said she was coming. I, I appreciate you, you know, love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. We got the man, the, the legend, from WRFG, Mr. Ralph Rice over here, who supports us. You know, these people are, are very important to us. As musicians, we are all doing our thing and climbing, and we have, we have some peaks, sometimes we have some valleys. And when your people support you here, when you're putting out offerings and they support you, they, they, they play you and they, they put you up and make it, and give you a voice so other people can hear you at their turn and it turns into other things. So I want to thank you, Mr. Ralph Rice. Um, also over here, where, where is she? Um, she's somewhere. Uh, she's all the way back there in the back. She's got a special place in my heart. Uh, Miss Reva Blue from WCOK. Uh, starting this jazz journey, she was the very first person to play my record. She, she took the record and loved it, and she said, I'm going to play it, and she played it all the time and all the time and helped me get traction and made people um, uh, pay attention to me, man. So I, you know, I appreciate you. It's also the 50th anniversary of WCLK coming up. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you now, I'll be performing with a, a host of uh, other amazing talents. Uh, well, I'll mention his brother in a minute. But um, uh, uh, yeah, Joel Granston, Kathleen Bertrand, uh, uh, you know, Rhonda Thomas, it's, it's a whole bunch of us. And we're performing at the Atlanta Symphony Hall on the 24th of May. You can get tickets and come join us there, okay? Uh, and that's in celebration of WCOK's 50 years in radio. And uh, so we just want to shout her out. I'm going around, I'm going around. Uh, my brother Reggie Hines walked up in the place tonight. And um, he's got his axe with him, an amazing saxophonist. And we're actually working on some stuff. Uh, where where um, we come together, I, I used to tell him all the time, man, I loved his record. He didn't even know it, man. He put this record out, and I was like, I love this. I was playing this record all the time. And um, so we're vibing, and we're doing, producing some stuff together. And um, and then my brother right here, you know, this super clean, you know what I'm saying, dapper gentleman over here, man, is my brother. Um, and, and Tamara mentioned him as well, but I want to shout him out, man. I really appreciate him being here. 
Mr. Wilbur Williams. I know she probably told you some of his accolades. I don't know where he's coming in from right about now. You know, he just did the Super Bowl with Usher. Um, um, I'm blessed to have him on every record I've done on my jazz record. It's been him and his squad that plays with Usher. Uh, they were on my records, and um, and these are this is my brother, man. You know, all of these folks, these are my folks, man. But um, I appreciated him. I mean, I appreciate him when he's in town. He was the first cat I saw on the line. I said, what? What, what you doing here, Jack? <laughs> so I appreciate you, man. Love, man. And I uh, want to shout him out. And uh, I want to shout you all out for being here tonight. But I had to get that. I had to get those things out of the way um, so I can go ahead and, 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 and be focused, OK? Uh, so um, how, how many of y'all feeling? Can we, um, who's on the lights? Who's on the lights? I don't know. Whoever's on the lights, I know they're around here somewhere. But because um, I saw them change at one point. But we want to get a little mellow in here. Is it, is it OK if we get a little bit mellow? Yeah. We're just going to lay back just a little bit and do something that's a beautiful song. I know you've heard it many times before, but not like this. We're going to try to do it tonight. Me and Mr. Uh, William Green are going to start, and we're going to get into it. Will. <laughs> That's Mr. 
some William Craig on the piano, though. Simon, come on, man. We're leaving it all out here right now. Come on, Simon. Come on, talk to him. Girl, close your eyes 
Let the rhythm get into you You know the song, huh? Don't try to fight it There ain't nothing that you can do Relax your mind We got to prove it time And when you feel that heat And we can ride the boot and share that beat Love, I wanna rock with you Yeah, here we go Here we go uh, Take you into day I wanna rock with you, yeah. Take you in today. Out on the floor, there ain't nobody there but us. We got so far to go And when you feel that beat And we can ride the boot and share that beat alone I wanna rock with you Yeah. Got a harmony going on. I wanna rock with you, yeah. Yes, y'all kidding me over here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's William Green on keys, y'all, piano. Here we go. Yeah. And when that groove is getting done.
So I appreciated that. But I said all of that to say that I want to sing this beautiful ballad that I heard him do, uh, do, I heard him sing here before. Loved it. It was a beautiful song. It's called Easy to Remember, but so hard to forget. And um, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do my best job at not doing too much. Okay? I turn it around. I'm grab some water real quick. <laughs> The sweet expression, the smile you gave me, the way you love the way we met. It's easy to remember, but so hard to. Forget I hear you whisper I'll always love you I know it's over It's easy to remember So I must dream to have your hands caress me, fingers press me tight, and I'd rather dream than have that lonely feeling. Linger through the night. I still remember each little moment, and though it brings me regret, it's easy to. That's Mr. William Green. So I was free to have your hands caress me. Your fingers hold me tight. And I'd rather dream than have that long. Girl. 
Beautiful song, right? Beautiful, beautiful song, man. I've been wanting to learn how to do that kind of thing. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's, that's, that's the hall, man. Those are some lyrics. So, right now, can we take it up? Y'all want to take it up? Can I get that chord? Yes, And at this time, I want to call my brother up if I can. You feel like playing? I mean, you got your axe with you, man. Come on up. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you, man. I know he can chop it down, too. He's got his axe with him, Mr. Reggie Hines. I want to welcome him to the stage. Now, but while he's getting ready, he's going to come up. Yeah, yeah. If you're feeling good, somebody say yeah. yeah. If you're feeling real good, somebody say yeah. yeah. If you feel good, somebody say yeah. Get into it. Ha, chi, chi, fo, fo. Every morning I'm moaning. I'm alone and crying the blues. I'm so tired of praying my dues. Every morning I'm moaning. Every evening I'm moaning. Cause of all the trouble I see, life's a losing gamble to me. Every evening I'm moaning, yes Boy, I spend plenty of days and nights alone with my grief Lord, I pray, really and truly pray I'll find some relief Every evening I'm moaning I'm alone and crying the blues I'm so tired of praying my dues
section you've seen them on everything i mean for the last three or four years there has not been an award show there has not been anything that you have not seen or heard them on they are killing the game all right next time go back and watch the super bowl again you'll see them looking fly and doing their thing the shirts open in the whole night <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um uh, yeah, man, but um, uh, this song right here, man, uh, Melvin Jones did the arrangement for it, and they're playing on it, man, it's killing. Uh, it's going to not have horns on it tonight, but we're going to do it for you. It's called The Doll. Okay, can I get that chord? So, before we go, I want to teach you guys, because I need you guys to help me pull this off, okay? Uh, is it okay? Yeah. All right, so listen, when I hold up one finger, uh, all you have to say, and this song is called The Doll, like a Barbie doll, okay? So, when I hold up one finger, I need you to say, one, two, three, the doll. Y'all got it? One finger. One, two, three. The doll. That's it. Y'all sound amazing. <laughs> when I hold up two fingers, I need you to say, one, two, three, the doll. You got it? It's two. One, two, three. Let's try one since y'all so bad. One, two, three. Let's try two just for measure. One more and then we're going to start a song. Two, three. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. This song is called The Doll. I hope you guys enjoy it, okay? Here we go. Tucked in her hair, 
be intimate with their more fireworks. I knew it right from the start. There's nothing that you can do or say once a fish has touched a heart. She's a lovely lady, the pinnacle of class. Lives in all the daydreams, catch her if you can. She walks into the room oh, 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 she's an angel sent Directly from God above And once you're embraced by her angel wings She'll be all you're thinking of She's a loving lady The pinnacle of class Lives in all your daydreams Catch her if you can Don't let her go She won't be free for long I love her and I lost her The meaning of this song Y'all sound amazing, thank you so much Since I'm in the uh, original music phase, I want to do one more for you, okay? And it's entitled Plain Jane, and then we will do Here's the Life, okay? So, um, this song, how I, you let, listen, so you know the new phrase right now, one of the new phrases is, uh, when something is happening, is life will life on you. Does that make sense to y'all? You know, um, <clears throat> 
live in this thing we call life, um, it will serve you a lot of different things. Some things you are prepared for, prepared for, and some things you are not. And um, but we have to keep on living uh, in spite of it. Um, and uh, this song is is that it, I wrote it. Um, the song is at least fifteen and maybe twenty years old, uh, probably. And um, I have I said uh, I believe it's a great song. That's just me. You guys will tell me later. <clears throat> um, but um, I've said that I would I would do this on every record that I do until it does what I know it can. And um, so, like I told you, I had a R&B background, I had a rock and roll background, and they on every record. I, I had a different version of this song. <laughs> so, uh, you're gonna hear the, ver the jazz version of it tonight, and I hope you enjoy it. It's entitled Plain Jane, okay? <clears throat> Oh, 
thinking of the days to come. All in all, we've had a hell of a There's trouble in my life. Thanks, Thank you guys so much. That's playing today. Y'all enjoy it? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right, now. So, you know, we're in a melancholy moment. I promise to take you out on a high note. Okay, but right now, we're going to stay where we are. And we're going to sing this song. And I want to mention my beautiful mother. Lost her um, in 2018. And uh, my mom always, uh, I've known for a very long time, I didn't have to ask anybody. I knew my mom didn't want a funeral. She did not want that. She wanted people to dress up. She wanted a party, all of the musicians to show up, and to jam and celebrate her. And that's exactly what we did. A lot of my, my, my friends, a lot of my friends were there. <clears throat> Um, and we, you know, we had the Ray Charles Center um, on, on Clark Atlanta University, and then it was a, it was a time that we had. And um, so in that celebration, um, this song, my mom used to perform it often. Like she said, no one could do it like my mother. Uh, we always used to talk. I, I just, I gotta tell you a little bit. We would debate all the time about what makes a hit record, right? So for me, it's all about the melody. I think I'm right. She kind of agreed with me before she left, but it's cool, all right? <laughs> uh, because the melody is what we really remember. That's what makes a hit, right? Um, a hit, you know, um, you may not remember what it's saying at all, but when you leave, you know, you, you just, but you don't know what it's saying, but that melody is so strong. So that's what you need to make a great hit. That's why we buy things we see on commercials because, you know, uh, you're in good hands with all this. Like, it's a great melody. It's catchy. You know, you're going to remember it later. So, so that's what makes a hit. But my mom was all about lyrics, right? It's all about lyrics. I didn't really get into it until later in life. Um, and, um, and, yeah, that's what makes a great song, though. You can have a hit song, but a great song is when you have great melody and great lyrics that touch people's souls and, and that can pull emotion out of them. Uh, so, so anyway, so um, she's right, I'm right too. I'm more right. But she's right. I mean, where a hit song is concerned. 
I would be the winner, okay? But, um, but anyway, um, she would sing this song all the time and it was because she loved the, the lyrics so much. And in her passing, um, you know, it was, a, it was fitting to do it. And I wanna, I wanna take this time to acknowledge a giant in the community too. Um, and I wanna dedicate this song to him. Um, we found out, I was actually here last night performing and I found out um, someone who was, was, who was very instrumental and important in my life died uh, last night. Uh, his name is Rico Wade. And um, yeah, if you don't know who that is, uh, you know his works. Uh, Rico Wade was one third of the, the production company Organized Noise. And Organized Noise is who gave you Outkast and who gave you Goody Mob and who gave you uh, hit records for In Vogue and, and so many things and really helped to put Atlanta on the map as far as being a musical, you know, mu having a real musical position. It was along with Jermaine Dupri and Dallas and all those cats, but Organized Noise was a major part of that. And that's how I had my inception into the record industry was Rico Wade, so I wanna, um, uh, acknowledge him and, and dedicate this to him as well. This song is called <clears throat> Here's to Life. I hope you guys enjoy it.
on bass, Mr. Larry Wilson on drums, sitting in with us my brother Mr. Reggie Hines on saxophone.
And we'd love to have you again. You can find all of our upcoming shows at thevelvetnote.com. I want to remind you that this is Jazz Appreciation Month. So if you've been waiting and waiting and waiting to appreciate jazz, now's the time. And you can start right here. And you can finish right here. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> On behalf of JB and Sheila and Tommy and Trey and Malachi and Chef Makai Jones, this is what we love to do, which is to bring you closer to artists who inspire you, closer to each other, and closer to the song that's in your heart. Come and see us again. <laughs>